Okay, it's been a little while since I've worked on my slider setup. Um, this is my new IGUS 1080. So we're talking 10 millimeter rails, 80 millimeters apart. Um, I run lighter cameras these days as a lot of you guys are running DSLRs and mirrorless camera setups now. So I do not need my big huge um, 2080 slider setup, which was this huge monster over here, which is double the size on the rail. Um, it worked great, had it motorized for a while. And now I am switching over to a smaller setup. Um, so I've been pretty happy with it so far. The lighter friction's really nice. Um, and I pretty much took my gear motor setup, transferred it over from the old rig. So we have 12 volt power supply, which um, I usually run an 18 because of what the Servo City parts can run on. Um, we have a DC uh, electronic speed controller from Servo City, a manual servo driver. Um, so what's happening here is the power is coming into this box right here. There's a servo signal that is going and coming back in a loop to this. And um, you're able to control this here. Um, depending on which way you turn it and how far you turn it depends on how much of a run you have here. Um, so that's a loop system that comes back to here. And then you have your 12 volt leads or whatever uh, power you're running is going down the line to your motor. In my case, since I was running a big slider before, I had two motors set up. I'm continuing to have a two motor set up because that was just the easiest thing to do. Um, in the Servo City setup, they have uh, purchased the tap rails. Um, I went ahead and just tapped one since I didn't order the proper one. And with this angle aluminum here, I was able to have, I just placed a bolt in there and bolted it up with the holes that were already here. Make sure that when you're choosing bolts, they are going to clear the blocks for the bearings there. Um, so that is how I have my motor set up. Just tapped to the end. This right here is a precision gear motor mount. That's the precision gear motor. Mine are running at 45 RPM. So when I talk to the folks over at Servo City, uh, they determined that's probably the best uh, run that, like I showed you earlier, um, you can creep pretty good, so you can definitely slow it down. Or you can get it to where it runs, runs a pretty good pace. Um, I am using their Servo City um, gears here with a... Uh, drive belt. It's a pretty tough belt. Uh, pretty hard to even drill a hole to make my post here. Um, I will be ordering a longer belt because right now this guy here is just not long enough so that's why that little piece of metal is an extension. So I have a motor on one side all the way and a motor on the other side. So here's a wide shot. So there you have it. Next project is on these diagrams over here. That is the Servo City diagram. This is one that I drew up myself. Um, and what the process is, is we are going to be using a diode and a couple of limit switches. So what happens is the pillow block is going to run, is going to click that, and it is going to discontinue the feed of the voltage going to the motor, which is that little black spot there, uh, which is my motor circuit since I have two of them. So what you're going to have is when it's normally open, you get power in both directions. But whenever the switch changes, what's going to happen is it's going to discontinue being able to drive the polarity. So whenever you move this, it's going to go all the way to the end. It's going to click that limit switch and not go any further in that direction, but enable you to turn this the opposite direction and it still run. Then once it goes, it's going to open up that circuit where the limit switch is going to be to go ahead and be able to go both directions. Um, so this is how I'm setting it up right now. In the future, I might go with an Arduino setup to where um, I hit a limit switch at one point and then it slows down to where it stops at the second limit switch. 
uh, but I'm not sure if I want that or not. I've also been interested in running an Arduino setup, um, which I can put the servo out feed, um, pretty much hook up this part um, to the Arduino, and then I will be able to uh, use another source, possibly my cell phone's accelerometer, as the motion control for the slider. I hope you've enjoyed this updated video um, on my slider. Thanks for watching and subscribe or like this video if you get the opportunity. And big shout out to Servo City. They have all the great parts. Take care. God bless.